Lainey Bill Tepish checking in for week two of our pigmentation. Y'all, I learned so much with Katie's skin this past week. Katie unfortunately started to exhibit a little bit of discomfort around her ocular structure, her neck, and her decollete. And of course, we're using a lot of actives in this pigmentation study because we're trying to increase that cellular turnover. We had a 10% vitamin C, we had a 2% salicylic acid, a 5% glycolic going on. Y'all, that's a lot of turnover happening. So her skin was needing a little bit of moisture to really help a in a bed in that turnover. So we actually started using the peptide mask as a nightly moisturizer instead of just using it as a mask. In addition, we applied a thin layer of the moisturizing mask from Clayton Chagall in order to make that occlusive barrier to prevent any of that moisture from being able to leach out of the skin. And within two days, we had remedied it. Her skin was no longer experiencing any discomfort. So moving into week two, we actually decided to bring in a product called Rescue RX. Now this is a product formulated from Eon MD that actually helps to alleviate the irritation and inflammation that can be associated with people who are starting to use AHAs and retinols. And y'all, that's exactly what her skin needed. It just needed that little anti-inflammatory aid and her skin has been taking on these actives beautifully. She is not experiencing acute inflammation anymore and we have a very controlled inflammatory response that we want to see in order to start tackling that hyperpigmentation. Her congestion had improved and the overall moisture was great in her skin. I look forward to updating you next week.